Uh, well, and Jerry, how you doing, man? You excited for this episode? It sounds like. Uh, excited is a big word. Um, I am big excited because we're talking about good things, but I do have a lot to discuss. Yeah, I All do right. have a lot to discuss. I got some things I want to discuss too. Uh, Uh-oh. but anyway, my week has been fine. I'm kind of scared, actually. <laughs> mm. They have actually laid people off of my job in my department. Oh, so now instead Wait, of a team, how do you of, keep getting these jobs that are like imminently laying people off? I don't know. I don't know. And now instead of a team of four, we're down to a team of three. Um. Mm, yeah. Okay, so, lay one person off. That ain't that bad. Yeah, they laid one person. No, no. They 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 just did mass layoffs because I work in talent acquisition. Um, they just are doing the HR department now, and I'm an employee branding, so it's kind of like talent acquisition. Um. So, mm-hmm. and they just laid off somebody on my team, so I don't know if more are coming, but um. They actually laid off him on my team and somebody else I was working with. So I don't know, child, what's about to happen, honey. I do not know what's about to happen. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but um start looking for you. Get another job. Oh no, I didn't stop looking. <laughs> uh, I didn't stop looking. I just mm-hmm. slowed down it. I was only doing um dream jobs, but now I'm gonna ramp that back up <laughs> to you said uh, earring jobs? No, dream, dream. job. Like video game Green companies, job, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons, mm-hmm. Wizard of the Coast. So now I'm going back to um, every job, <laughs> every job that I am, uh, I'm skilled for. I'm gonna be applying. So yeah, because who knows? Who so knows what'll uh, happen? So you apply for the, uh, the yeah, <laughs> you apply for the stalker job at Target too, huh? That's mm-hmm. not work from home. Uh, that part, my bad. Mm-mm. 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 I'm doing only work from home, only work from home. But um, yeah, my other job is going fine. Um, I'm just trying to nail this company voice. It's a very new company voice. I'm trying to nail, um, and make it my own. Uh. But yeah, that's how I have been. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So remember last week when my, what I put you on to was Baldur's Gate 3. And yeah, I said yeah. I had been waiting since like mm-hmm. three years. I bought the game three years ago. I I played it for two hours and I got too excited and I didn't play it anymore. The beta. Well, that game is coming out tonight or Wednesday at 11 wow. o'clock. Damn. I've been hearing I'm like, about it. What the fudge? I didn't know that it was already here. I knew it was coming this month. I know it was coming later this month. But um, Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast just released some YouTubes about it. I'm like, when does the game come out? Because they're doing a lot. And then I looked it up. They said Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday is mm-hmm. coming out. So I'm like, that's tomorrow. I can't believe it. But yeah. Yeah. So I'm about to be at home. Don't talk to me. Don't text me. You know how I get when I get a new game. Well, y'all saw how I get when I get a new game. Um, I didn't even know what's coming mm-hmm. out. Hopefully, I can do my work and uh, all this other stuff, like uh, edit this podcast. But until then, child, hey. I'm going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons, trying to defeat the Mind Flayers have a parasite mm-hmm. in my head and it's just it's gonna be so much fun it's gonna be really really fun demarcus you should really get it this four playstation five oh never mind you, you gotta you're not buying any new games mm, oh yeah he did say that yeah Me. how much is it eighty dollars it's regular <laughs> game yeah, no, price. look look demarcus you gotta support the artist too that's a hell that... no. <laughs> <laughs> well, i gotta support them they don't support me you don't because see them making a affordable games for the, the market price range. Is it your whole degree in in art and colors? Like, like is this what you did? Like, you would if you were making art, you would want somebody to support you for your art. 
ended with the rising price of inflation. Can't even but buy I would, groceries. But I would make it. I would make it affordable. The market, it probably is affordable for them. That price for who? For them, it's affordable for you, not affordable for me. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I will get it for my PC. Um, it's for PlayStation Five and Mac as well. Um, I really think. Do they have? Uh, do they have cross-platform multiplayer? Yeah. Yep. Oh, it, it is multiplayer. Mm -hmm. And like they said that when you are talking to the PCs, your um companions can actually um uh chime in and give um hints or tips or suggestions on what um uh uh option to pick. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's gonna be fun. I don't have any friends to play with. I'm, I'll, I guess I'll ask Gordon. <laughs> Why do you talk like him every episode? Gordon might okay. be on the peripheral. I mean, it don't come out till tomorrow. But I'll ask him. He just got um, Diablo. I'm tired to talk about him on every episode. Lorante, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine, guys. I'm doing fine. Can't complain. Um, like you said, I, I, I know I do a bunch of different things. I work like a a, a Dominican, Haitian, Jamaican. So I'm, I'm a, uh, I am a, I am a teacher, English mm -hmm. ELA teacher um, at, at my daughter's yeah. school now. And um, so we had our first open house today and, you know, was talking with the parents and that was, that was pretty cool. It was, so, so it was a pretty cool day. It's been, it's been all right so far getting acc acclimated. And one, one little interesting thing we're going to do that I brought, um, I, I suggested it and the headmaster is going to run with it. So, you know, how in Florida, Texas, even, you know, some counties in Georgia, how they're banning certain books just for certain things. And they're not even as extreme, you know, but, mm -hmm. you know, we're at a point where there is a lot of things. So, what we're doing, we're sitting down and we're figuring out, okay, which books are we going to read? Because we are a private institution, so we can kind of do do um, do what we want to do. So that's something interesting going on in my world. So I'm sitting, we're sitting down tomorrow, and we're going to figure out, okay, what books are we reading this semester? So this semester is going to be like sci-fi. Of course, it has to be all Black authors, but we're we're going to do sci-fi yeah. this semester, and then next semester. Is this like Black know. private school? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like we're going to dive into we're going to dive into a lot more like tougher stuff next semester, but this semester we want to kind of make it fun, interesting and shit like that, and stuff like that. So, so mm -hmm. some suggestions would be, and this is what uh -oh. I put you hold on, on, hold on to. Hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, let me get my, let me get my pen. Cause I don't want to forget this one. <laughs> go ahead, Jared. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Some suggestions would be, um, in the comic book mm -hmm. realm is excellence by, um, I think that Carrie Randolph was the artist. Um, it's a comic book in black and white. Um, there was a oh no, not excellence. It's called Black. Black. I need some chapter books. I need chapter books. Okay, so Octavia, <laughs> Octavia, I think her name is Octavia. But I, I, I'll, I'll look into it. And I'll definitely because what's good, like I said, like how anime and comic book that's definitely in the forefront. So a bunch of these kids. They're into every not everything, but everything. Like as opposed to it being three or four kids out of the group, it's pretty much the whole class. And okay. like one kid, one kid's like, oh, I like basketball. That's it. Like only like one of those now. As opposed to when we grew up, everybody was all everything and we were the minority. Nah. So all these kids, they'll definitely dig. I'm sorry, what's the what's the name of it again? Um, I mean, you said you need chapter books. So no, no, but I, I'll take that one down too, though. Don't get it twisted. Like I could definitely throw some stuff in their face. All right, so Black is about uh, modern day superheroes, the only people in that universe mm -hmm. um, that can get superpowers are Black. Mm -hmm. And Excellence is another comic book um, that is about the only people that can have magic are mm -hmm. Black. So it's kind of like a Harry Potter meets modern day New York. But if you're looking for chapter books, I would greatly recommend Octavia Butler. Mm -hmm. um, I would also recommend her um book kindred by octavia butler um mm -hmm. after you read it of course you can watch the tv series it was just released on hulu earlier this year that'd be perfect um, you know we love a, a book with some some visuals to go along with it you know i know you do hey it helps bring the point home <laughs> <laughs> i know you do but uh, those are my three recommendations so 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 you went into your room so is your room all yeah. set up it's so we're using majority of the stuff we had last year so it has the informational stuff like you know punctuations 
grammar grammar stuff, but I don't have like personal, like I'm gonna definitely get something Hampton in there. Cause quite a few of my parents are from Howard and that's, that's, that's hilarious. But I'm gonna definitely throw some Hampton stuff in there and some, a couple other pieces just to show my personality. But for the most part, it's, it's essentially set up. Okay. And how are the parents receptive to you and all your tattoos and hell everything? Yeah. Hell, hell yeah. I look good, smell good, talk good. What are you talking about? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Nice. I'm just playing. No, no, they they were decent. So, like, the thing about that school, once again, um, it like so I teach six through twelve, and so they kind of divide it. You know, s- the six through eighth grade is two different classes, so it'd be six and seventh and seventh and eighth. But you might have a no offense, um, someone who's not as developed on the eighth grade, so they might be in the sixth and seventh grade class. We're on the opposite side. These are like outliers, like the sixth and seventh grader, like or sixth grader who's really advanced. They might mess around being even in the ninth grade class. So I got, I got every class is kind of diverse, if that makes sense. Mm. So uh, and explain that to the parents, because one girl, she was like, my daughter was in eighth grade last year. Why is she in eighth grade year this year? I like, it was just some things that they might they might have missed out on. And we, we can talk after this. And her, her daughter was one of those, you know, like she's she's a good kid, great kid. But, you know, every concept, like everybody does get every concept, you know, all the time for every subject. And sometimes, you know, they might need to because for the most part, we go over the same especially in ELA, the same competencies, but it's just like the text we're going to be reading is a little bit different. The papers, like certain classes, especially at my 12th grade class, they're going to be writing way more just because, you know, you're about to go to college. You know, you're going to be writing papers for every class all the time. So that's just something we're going to be doing. But uh, no, nah, parents, parents was cool. Parents was cool. Y'all better watch out for these mamas. They, they're a little too friendly, but parents, parents were definitely cool. You better watch out for these mamas. Oh, uh, why? Wow, wow, I'm single. They already fertile. No, first of all, you better watch out for these mamas because you are newly single. Yeah, exactly. you need mm-hmm. a long relationship. You need to be alone Freshly for a fertile. while. And exactly. two, you don't need no scandal at this new job where you at. Mm-hmm. No scandal. It's a, it's a parent, not a teacher. Now, if it was a coworker, that's different. Look at, no. look at his haircut, Jared. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I had to get a lineup. We we took pictures and stuff. See, so. see, he got mm-hmm. a haircut for. for his new job to see these teachers. I mean, see these parents, but no, he couldn't get a microphone no, no. for. His commitment to this podcast. No. And it's crazy. Literally, I went to Walmart right after the haircut because Walmart is like right behind the barber. And I looked in, I was like, gamer headset, gamer headset. I went, fuck. Cause like my computer for some reason doesn't do well with gamer headsets, whatever. I don't I don't fucking know why. But then okay. I was like, oh um uh I wanted to ask you something else about teaching. Uh oh, 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 as an English teacher. How are you going to combat chat GPT? And you know what? Or are so you going to teach them how to use it? I'm not going to teach them how to use it because for the simple fact, I know that that's like, that's that's actually really crazy. That's something I've been thinking in my head because like, like somebody was like, I heard like a whisper, yeah, we're just going to use chat, chat, we're just going to use chat GPT. And so one thing I'm going to do is like, okay, we can't prevent that, but hey, Everything must be turned in blue or black ink, handwritten, no type papers. So I mean, granted, they're just copying, but that I feel like that kind of cuts a little bit. Like they still actually have to write it at least. That's that's part of it. Um, and some shit, some stuff, like you know how people talk, if that makes sense. So if they start writing a certain kind of way, you could tell, like, hey, this this is AI hey, wrote this, or you know, you didn't write this because I already I already know basically your vocabulary to an extent, you know. So, so, but I get it. That that is definitely something. I heard there's software though that you can use to kind of detect when something was written yeah. with um AI. But I I really didn't look into it because once again, everything's gonna be handwritten. Even if they type it, they're gonna have to print it out. But I'm 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 only accepting handwritten papers. Well, until we get to like the five ten page stuff, then yeah, you can type that up. But yeah, no, that's a good question, Jed. That is that is a good question. I, I gotta actually ask some other teachers and shit stuff like that because that is because like you know how they have the argument you are you're not always going to have a calculator and, and you have calculators on the phone. right 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 so it's, it's just one of those things but you got to be you have to be able to express a point get a point across mm-hmm. and um you can't always rely on the computer so i'm gonna definitely I mean, my thing is there are ai jobs where all you do is input prompts to, into chat gpt Starting Man. off at nine hundred thousand dollars a year, so not Wait a so minute. having these kids without these skills, 
is kind of uh, putting them behind these white and Asian kids that are getting these skills. So it's something else to think about. Yeah, definitely. I don't. And yeah, so I just. mm, Because it's like so like that sixth through eighth grade, like they're just out of high school. I'm sorry, just out of elementary. They're still working on some. And then a lot of kids were affected negatively by the pandemic. Like home, like home learning at home was terrible. Like just I'll just I'll just, you know, be nice about that. Some of them didn't really learn much. So we're trying to play catch up as well with a bunch of the kids. They're they're bright, but it's like some stuff like, oh, hold on now. But enough of the, enough about me, enough about me. Demarcus, how you doing over there, brother? Yes, I'm all right, man. I'm doing pretty well. Um I'm like one pound away from my goal weight. Oh my God. I weighed myself uh, earlier this week. I was 166. Uh-huh. Trying to get down to 165. Jared, I hate to look at his face. Um, I am hating right now. Why? But then you're only like 5'3", 165. So Stop it. But I wish I anyway, was 165 um, again. I also just ordered uh, a dab rig, which should be here by Monday. So What's that? A dad rig? Dab. D-A-B. Delta Alpha Beta. That gas? Yeah, yeah. Oh Ronte no one I heard dab. <laughs> I heard dab. I was like, dab? Is this a white people contraption? Mm-hmm. Um, it's slowly making its way through the, uh, okay. the diaspora. Yeah. So, yeah. The so things. Wow. Yeah, other course. than that, it's been life has been pretty good, man. Um work is still in a in a ambiguous place because of uh artificial intelligence. It's funny that y'all was talking about it. Mm-hmm. Uh so we're having to figure out a lot of stuff around that. Um and so that's pretty much what my job is what my job has been lately. Just like, oh, Demarcus, we want to build this AI stuff. And it's like, all right, how do we do it? It's like that's your job to figure out. And I'm like, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, the market's figuring out because, as I said, these jobs are paying nine hundred thousand dollars for learning these skills. So just watch some TikTok. I mean, if I wanted to be a prompt writer, sure. But I'm, I imagine to be like one of the nine hundred thousand dollars making prompt writer, you had to been working with AI since like the beginning. Like AI got to be your whole career. Like you ain't just switching careers. But then you know what? Maybe you are. Who knows? Maybe you are. Um, and maybe uh-oh. maybe it's my attitude that's holding me back. Yeah, your, your, your <laughs> poor attitude. Um, I mean, I just don't want to write write prompts for a living. That's not. It doesn't sound fulfilling. I mean, with nine hundred thousand dollars, you could do something else that's fulfilling you, Demarcus. <laughs> you can write prompts for You're four right. hours I can a day. Fill my life then, in another way, <laughs> and then you can fulfill your life some other way. Like, please, that's true. Um. You know, I'm just one of those people that has to like, like what they do. Mm. I know it's, I know it's, I know it's weird. You know, people don't really talk like that no more. But I have to like enjoy the job that I have. No, no, that's this um, generation. If I don't, I'm we, not gonna do a good job. Yeah, they just started doing that. This gen- well, not our generation. Well, we're part of it, kind of. But yeah, now in this time, yeah, that's that's the wave. Hey, I'm not just gonna do some shit just to survive. I wanna feel fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah so exactly. money. that's if I if I wanted to do something just to make money, I would have been a pharmacist. I would have switched my degree to pharmacy, that pharmacy oh. doctor while I was at Hampton. Oh, called it a day. Oh, you would have been. I could have did it. I don't know. I don't. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna say what you would have been. But yeah, that's you that's what I, love. I took AP chemistry. I took AP chemistry in high school. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I can I can like sit down and study and whatnot. That's a nerve wracking uh, major for those six years. Ooh, everybody can make mm-hmm. cocaine and meth. <laughs> um, I would have just made like Bengay and um, Bengay, you know, Tylenol. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think that you would be our life. friend if you were. Um, yes, he still, would. I don't think so. He he would be like Omar flying <laughs> back and forth from Mexico or wherever, being Yo. a passport bro. Yeah, Omar is on vacation all the time. As he should. Yeah. I want all my brothers to go I, all the time. Yeah. I wonder what they like. I wonder what it's like. I, I don't. Know. Um I wonder what it's like. But then 
So this grass ain't always greener. Anyway. This has been on my mind since I read it last Wednesday. Oh my God. Y'all, let me go ahead and put y'all on to the latest edition of the Marvel Mutant Saga. Um, the Hellfire Gala has just aired its latest uh issue. And in previous Hellfire mm. Galas, they have in the mm. first one they reformed Mars, made it um habit- uh hospitable. Habitable? Yeah, whatever. Habitable, hospitable, <laughs> whatever. The second one they um announced um the the um the resurrection protocols would be open to select humans instead of just mutants would be able to be resurrected. And in mm. this one, they were going to announce uh, free housing, which included free food for um, major cities. And Kamala Khan um, have been reborn as a mutant because she's both an inhuman and a mutant. Don't mm. know how that mm-hmm. works because the terror genesis... Mm process which uh all humans have to go through to get their powers is toxic to mutants anyway this was the most like the first 25 percent you're like going up the roller coaster and then for the rest of the book you're like going down this steep because my heart was in a flutter i haven't stopped thinking about this the ramifications all of the strains that these because they're all new villains so all the strains that these new villains have done over these past three years or four years or whatever to ensure that the mutant population would be gone. Like, for instance, I'm going to tell you one of them, and it's not even 10% of this book, but the leader of Orcus, which is the new mutant hating group, has purchased Stark Industries from Tony Stark's board. Um, and... He has actually developed Sentinels with Iron Man armor. So that was a factor. Yeah, exactly. That was a factor in the what happened in this book. And I just want to add, because I'm trying not to spoil things, I'm going to just be quiet. But this book has also reinvigorated my hate and my fervor and my intense dislike for Professor Charles Xavier. What he pulled mm. at this at this party was not only another another notch that he is not for mutants, that he is not for what he says he's for, but it 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 it, it just made me, you know, hate him even more. It made me hate him even more. And if that was possible, if that was possible, <laughs> if that exactly, if that was possible, what he did was probably the worst crime he ever committed, the worst crime he ever committed. Um, uh, even the sentinels, when he didn't pull, you know, use his powers for the sentinels, when he, he even lusting after Jean Grey, I would have gave him that, but what he did just one week ago tomorrow is the worst crime ever the worst crime he could have ever done and and it just proves he was never for mutants he was never for mutants ever he was never for mutants and i hate him i hate him i hate him like i would say i hope he dies but he's just gonna come back (laughs) i can't even say anything else but yeah demarcus i know you are reading some of these this book and it's like a jumping on point so you don't have to read the previous it tells you everything that you need to know in this book there's only one page that um that um that tells about the future events that's outside the marvel realm where um i think john hickman is writing a book later this summer that has to do with the gods um but Mm. I really, really, really think that you should read this book immediately, like immediately. So I heard, I've been hearing a lot about the Hellfire Club, because didn't they, do, didn't they do like a real life Hellfire Gala at San Diego Comic-Con? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not like it was dope. Yeah, um, so the the that gala has become like this ultra posh because you know the the club was just a um which is a place for um Emma Frost and all the rich elite people to hang out, chill, have sex with each other, um, do weird things to mutants wow. and humans. And I think they were all white too. Anyways, so um the gala is with all mutants. All mutants can come in, um, wear a nice outfit. What is this picture? Hmm? Lavrante. What picture? <laughs> the picture that comes up when you do something else on Zoom. I don't know. Jerry, stay on topic, please. Okay. <laughs> I noticed that picture earlier, and I was going to ask about it, too. Yeah. What picture? <sighs> Like Lorante going super geek dad mode or something like that. I know he's I'm, really I'm, I'm geek. A I'm a whole so, English teacher. If y'all need to go, didn't know. So, I'm cosplaying as a teacher. So <laughs> the gala is something that um, the whole Marvel universe. I mean, all mutants can come to dress ultra fancy in their outfits. You've probably seen them online, and they invite like the Avengers, all the Spider People, dignitaries, um, come and they. Um, make their voices heard and also um like like you see some of the comic book people like um uh the comic book writers the editor-in-chief the comic book artists they make appearances at the gala but um but yeah oh so it was this real supposed... life hellfire gala has been a thing for a while they've had three so in the book yeah in the book mm. in the mm. book but um oh in the book oh, yeah oh. but but yeah, the gala is supposed to be this. Um, uh, you it's supposed to be uniting the humans and the mutants, making sure that mm -hmm. they're on the same page, that they understand what's going on, and that they can see um, the inner workings that's going on on Krakosha. But the Marcus, you got to read this, Lorenzo. I I also um, need you to read hey. this as well. This was a. This book was just it. Like my mind is blown with this, but with the ramifications of this book, and I didn't even talk about Kamala. I didn't even talk about Jean. What, uh, oh my god! What I issue didn't... is it on? Huh? What issue is this book on? It wasn't an issue. It was. It was a special. Just the Hellfire. Mm, mm. Yeah, issue number three. So yeah, I really, really. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So they've released this the Hellfire. Gala is a is a special that they've released three times. Yes. Mm. Okay. And it's, so it's just like a one shot. You can just jump in and just read that one Hellfire Gala special. Yes. That's what I've been saying this whole time. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, now I'm just reiterating for my own understanding. So you get it now. I don't need that extra. Yeah, I get I understand now. Yeah. So I really, really, really think you should read. I mean, it it it's really mind blowing. It's really mind blowing what what happens. Well, I, my book. my regular trip to the comic book stores tomorrow. I'll see if they got a copy. But mm. um, how how is uh the books I recommended? Are you still reading on Sex Criminals? I just finished Sex Criminals. Mm -hmm. Um, what really helped out is that because my my reading time is like usually my train time, mm -hmm. so I just started like riding my bike to work like more pretty often. I think I rode it to work like. Two or three times last week, and I wrote it yesterday. So um, that's usually when I have time to like sit down and like really get through, you know, power my way through a book. Um, <clears throat> so I just finished uh, that sex criminals I was reading. So I think I'm gonna take a break and start on these uh, immortal X Men mm -hmm. or Vanish. One mm -hmm. of the two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is Vanish done? Is Vanish? No. Two. Okay. No, actually, I think it just finished. I think it just finished. But okay. yeah, but yeah, yeah. Just read that. Um, and and Immortals talks about the whole X universe from the seat of power. Um, that um the most powerful Omega mutant sit. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> So All right, what about you, um, Demarcus? Do you have anything that you want to put these people on? Put us on too. 
Who put you on the net? Um, I have anything I want to put y'all on today. I don't think I do. Mm, I think uh-oh. I done gave y'all plenty of stuff to check out, and I guarantee y'all have not read it. Not y'all too, but the folks listening. <laughs> on. You bastards. I guarantee y'all have not checked out a damn thing and see it. But um, no, not today. I'm gonna give y'all some time to Thank get y'all selves together for bring in some new material. All right, all right. Let me hop. Don't in want y'all to be overwhelmed. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, not at all. Let me hop in real quick. I so mean, this isn't. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Jardo. I mean, Demarcus, it does have to be something brand new. It could be something old too. Oh no, I mean, I just don't have anything on my on my mind today. Oh, okay. Lorente, Lorente, sound like Lorente got something though. Yeah, it's it's not nothing major. It's like a personal like lifestyle thing. So I know a lot of us listen to music all different ways. There's a bunch of different apps and I've been around the world and I'm here to tell you that Tidal is the best app. And I'll tell you why really quick, really quick. So Tidal, um, I've had it for like two, three years and then something happened with my billing. And then, you know, I don't know where I had like a three month free Apple music little situation. I was like, you know, it's just music. Fuck it. Let me hop over to Apple music. This shit is trash. Yes, granted, they all have the same songs. Granted, that is true. But how we listen to music. So what I like to do with Tidal is what's called like a track radio. Apple Music does it as well, but it's not the same way. It's like basically like you'll pick a song and it'll play songs based off of that. And they'll be in the same genre, same time zone, or just, you know, like I said, similar songs. Apple Music is so fucking ass. Like I could play, and I'll give a bad example, but I'll play Work by Rihanna, right? Then some fucking and Taylor Swift will come on, then some Adele, then some Nicki Minaj. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, it just, there's no... Well, those are those are all music. within that same, like... But, it, no, okay. If someone so had Rihanna on a playlist, I would expect to hear some Taylor Swift or something. No, you wouldn't. Not, not the Rihanna. No, you wouldn't. Not, not really. Not really. Like, it was like Work by right. Rihanna and then 16, like, not 16 again. What was like Taylor Swift early record? I forgot. I heard. I skipped that shit. And then they played Adele chasing pavements. Like, the record I played was a 2016 and then fast forward, I like old school R and B. So I was trying to play some old school R and B. They was not fucking with me. I was trying to play some Case. Then they brought it up to some goddamn Cisco. I'm like, anyone ain't Drew Hill Cisco. It was like thong song Cisco, which is cool. But okay, so I'm off that. I'm off that. Y'all get on title, man. Get on title. So I'm I off actually have Apple Music without an iPhone because Verizon gives you free Apple Music. So that is the only reason I use mm-hmm. Apple Music. But I've been looking mm. to get on title, and I want to remind you, Lorente, that um, when I had a title um, subscription, I did let you use it. So I would like that password, please, at the end of the show. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, yeah. So I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna reactivate my title today, and I'll, I'll slide that back to you. Definitely, definitely. That's why I was like, okay, let me try this, and I thought it was like a regular, and then you know, just the exclusive content when certain artists drop, and it's I rock with it. I rock with so now, like I said, Apple Music. This shit is. This shit is trash. It's not trash. And you got to like, you gotta know what you're looking for. Shit isn't going to find you. Like, you have to really know what you're looking for. I like I like it when music kind of, oh, what's this? You know, some, some some new shit. But that's it. That's all I got for put for putting you all, you bastards on. Hope y'all, hope y'all give it a try. Hmm. But without that, without that, we're going to take a brief, 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 brief break. Word from one of our sponsors. And we're going to get right into it. You deserve to be happy professional licensed and vetted therapists who you can trust. Tap into the network of licensed, accredited, and experienced therapists who can help you with a range of issues, including depression, anxiety, relationships, trauma, grief, and much more. With our therapists, you can get the same professionalism and quality you would expect from an in-office therapist, but with the ability to communicate when and how you want. All right, head on over to betterhelp.com slash VGEpod. Sign up right now and let them know what you, we sent you. Welcome back to Black. I didn't even realize we had went to break. I thought we were still chatting. What happened? <laughs> yeah, Lorante uh, did the whole thing where he he uh, called us out. I mean, I had some more to say too, but I just oh it, but... shit, no, I don't like stepping on toes. Y'all know that. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no. It's it's over now. Uh, but all right, well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. I guess. <laughs> On today's episode of Black Geek Energy, we are going to talk about one of the most famous 
superheroes of all time. You cannot say X-Men without this person. You cannot say mutant without this person. You cannot say Marvel without this person. You cannot say superhero without mentioning this name. We are going to talk about the Wind Rider. Superman? The... <laughs> no, we're going to talk about the goddess of the weather. Or Oreo Monroe. Or Aurora. Aurora. I call her Oreo. Oreo. Oh, Man, Roro. Saying Oreo, Roro. the disrespect. Aurora Aurora Monroe. Aurora. The Oreo. That's her name now. Oreo. No, Monroe. it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Aurora <laughs> Monroe, the number one superhero. Wonder, in- see, now I'm be thinking about it the whole episode. I wonder if, like, in school, Storm got bullied. And folks call her Oreo. <laughs> oh, no, she was in Africa. She was in Africa. She was good. Fair enough. <laughs> um, and if you don't know Storm's powers, they are over the entire spectrum of the weather. She can control storms, make um, uh, glaciers melt with intense heat. Um, one time when she was a young child, after she uh, first developed her powers, her her uh, tribe in Africa did, uh, didn't have any water. So she immediately made it rain. But that is where Storm's inc- incredible mental powers comes in play because she learned from, from that um, incident. Um, she had to, had to really control what she did with her powers. She had to learn because she made it rain there in, in her tribe, but all the water around her tribe, there was no more water. So she went oh. out for a tribe when her elders took her out uh, for a walk. And she just saw all the dead animals just littered around her tribe, um, the outskirts of her village, um, because she soaked up all the water. So by using her powers, you know, uh, it said that the tiniest butterfly wings that uh, flap in California can make a tsunami in what's up uh, in uh, Korea or like, wherever. But, uh, okay. But yeah, she had to learn how to, in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say Brazil, but on the other side of the world. So she had to. So when she uses her powers, her intense power, she has to then mentally. Um, counteract her powers on the other side of the world um she has to learn how to take the water from the local sea or a place where there is abundance of water when she wants it to rain or something she has to learn how to do all these things because um she could upset what's happening on the planet earth um she also has an intense um, wait wait wait. so does that mean that global warming is storm's fault um no, no, but that does mean mm. that if global warming was real, no, not if global warming was real, that if storm was real, she would have, um, she probably couldn't solve global global warming because people are still going to be driving around in cars. You know, people mm-hmm. are still going to um, destroy the atmosphere. So she probably wouldn't be able to actually um fix global warming just in one breath so yeah so if love if storm was real she probably couldn't fix it but yeah storm uh also um uh, okay storm has the abilities of cosmic storms as well solar wind she can control cosmic ocean storms yeah yeah ocean currents and the electromagnetic field she has the ability to turn I mean, to separate water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen via electrosis, which allows her to breathe underwater. And while in outer space, she is able to manipulate the interstellar and intergalactic media. Storm can alter her visual perceptions so she can see the universe in terms of energy patterns, um, detecting the flow of kinetic, thermal, and electromagnetic energy behind weather phenomena. So, yes, yeah, Storm is incredibly powerful. And in many of the alternative universes that Storm is, um, her um, 
storm is also a a um a gifted sorceress or a gifted witch like her lineage in um this world the 616 world um is with priestesses and um sorceresses and without professor xavier coming in the bastard she probably would have also had that same magical ability on top of her mutant ability um in a gathering because it's never a self dr strange black panther silver and, and fantastic four um uh eternity has said that she is also a strong um, candidate to be the Sorceress Supreme. So, mm. yeah, but that is, of course, with another um, universe. Universe, yeah. Okay, but okay. The most powerful thing about Storm, I, I just got, I just got to say this, and then I look, I can let y'all talk. The most powerful thing about Storm mm -hmm. is that she was depowered for a long time in the '90s, but when she was depowered. She actually um, did her most amazing things. Like she defeated Callisto of the Morlocks, whose mutant power allowed her to have enhanced strength and um, enhanced uh, uh, agility. And uh, she defeated Cyclops, mm -hmm. who has been trained by, uh, you know, the professor, and who's also fought um, Captain America. She, um, she led the X-Men without any powers. Um, yeah, Storm is also a skilled hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. And uh, when she was on the streets of Cairo, she was also a skilled thief. So she can slip in, slip out of your pockets with incredible ease. And in, with, that was without her power. She learned those skills, but now with her powers, it's even more enhanced, so... Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all talk for a while because I've been going on and on and on. Mm -hmm. No, nah, keep yeah, on, we, keep going. We know, we know, you can keep, we know you can just keep just going on. Storm is your girl. You be, you be on her dick. I mean, um, I was one thing, and you might have been getting to this later on, but one thing that I've read about Storm is that she is a. Uh, she, she she get around. She's uh oh yeah, she's free. She <laughs> she's free. She owns her sexuality. She owns her sexuality. No, no, she, no yeah. that's definitely true. That is definitely she, true. She and has, I hate that. I hate I hate that. She put you know, because I, I really I've always loved her with T'Challa, and I was like, yo, I was like, this is like the couple, but man, she She's the reason, and folks who only know the MCU won't know this because it, but in the MCU, um, Namor and his people went to war with Wakanda over like, killing their queens because the the because humans were getting too close to finding uh, what's Namor's home called? It's not Atlantis, is it? It's definitely it's not. not Atlantis in the MCU, yeah, in the movie. <laughs> Or in the um, comics, or in either, the comics, either. it's called Atlantis. It's called Atlantis. Yes, but yes. in the movie, it was something. It's something else in the movie. Yeah, but anyway, um, they was going to war because humans were getting too close to finding uh, Atlantis. But in the comics, they went to war because Storm and Black Panther was having marital issues, and she started fucking with Namor. Damn. <clears throat> And Namor was like, oh, this is my girl now. And came up to Wakanda, drowning, flooding it, sending tidal waves and stuff all over Storm. Not to say that Storm ain't a beautiful woman, but like, hey, yo, like to be, to be, to be tied as like majestic goddess, I feel like you should, you should, you should wield your, your power and beauty a little bit more responsibly. No, no, I think she could be anything she wants to be. And including a destroyer of nations. Including a destroyer of nations. Um, because first of all, that relationship with Storm and T'Challa was doomed for the, from the start. No, I don't think so. I think so. I don't. And I don't I, think I, so. And I can go. Well, I was doomed for the start. Well, I, I want to go into what you said about the tidal wave first. Namor was actually a part of the um, Phoenix Illuminati. Five thing. Uh, oh, um, he so was. And uh, with Colossus, Emma Frost, uh, Cyclops. 
Uh, and uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, name Magic. Or... Magic. Magic. Oh, yeah. And Magic. so what happened was the, um, Storm decided that she was going to protect the Phoenix Force because um, uh, the Avengers were trying to destroy the Phoenix Force. But mm-hmm. the Phoenix Force has already proven to resurrect the mutants after decimation event which uh-huh. um, uh, decimated the mutants down to 198 mutants left on the earth. 10%. So um, what happened was T'Challa forbade, uh, T'Challa forbade Storm to go help the X-Men. Um, the X, and Storm said, these are my people. If that was you, you would like do people? it. So we're over. And that's how they broke up. And mm-hmm. then because Namor had that extra power in him, you know, the Phoenix and Dark Phoenix, he then attacked um, Wakanda with the tidal wave. So it wasn't nothing with Storm. Storm said, I'm going to go help the X-Men from the Avengers. Um, and T'Challa forbade that. So that mm-hmm. was what happened. And so are you saying that she didn't start fucking with Namor after that or no, before she that? Didn't. No, she Storm, did. Storm's thing with Namor, especially when he was amped up on the Phoenix energy, uh, I think Storm saw Namor as kind of aggressive, kind of, uh, what's that And word? she liked that. And she liked that bad boy shit. No, she don't. Yes, yeah, she, Wolverine. Okay, Wolverine, but, but she mm-hmm. was Come on, man. But Wolverine you, wasn't aggressive to her. Everything ain't no exception. Wolverine wasn't aggressive to her. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Namor was aggressive to her, saying, get in my bed. Like, he, she used to say Emma Frost. And trying to get into Sue's Richard, Sue Richard's pants. He wasn't used to having another person who was on that level um, and how he would react to that person. Like he did not respect Storm for the person that she was in order to get into her pants. And plus, Storm was married then, so she wouldn't do that. Nah, but but all I'm saying, she still calls that. She still calls that war. Nah, because nah, it I wasn't don't... like it wasn't like it's like oh this is like a one-off incident and you know they they only damaged you know some of Wakanda with this tidal wave or anything. It was like they was at war for a while. I don't. I think I I I stopped reading comics uh, back then, but I think the last I read they were still at war. Wakanda in uh Atlantis. So they are not at war anymore. Um, this is just an update on Wakanda Atlanta's reaction uh, relations. Namor mm-hmm. did attack uh, Wakanda a second time a couple of years ago. Mm. Um, over Black Storm Panther, again? No, it wasn't over Storm. <laughs> but Black Panther retaliated by sending Hyperion to Atlantis, who lifted Atlantis up and threw it into a desert. So after that, mm. yeah, they kind of called it off the stalemate. And most recently, um, Namor uh did some uh con uh con mess and some finessing and actually he is now the diplomatic relations for the world and t'challa is now exiled from wakanda so that is mm. where wakanda stands now um with mm. with t'challa but i just, but let's just go into storm and t'challa um my favorite my favorite marvel couple yeah, and I don't like them at all together because I, I a, love them together, man. It's like the black power couple of, no, the, of the universe. Yeah, no, it's not. But um uh let's just go into that because that's relationships. I don't like it because it wasn't good for Wakanda as a whole, it wasn't good for the people, and the people did not you gotta respect elaborate it. On that. I'm about, I'm okay. about don't I always nah. don't I always but we got but um oh, oh no you don't always that's why I said it <laughs> okay the people didn't like that because the people said T'Challa you you have trained the Dora Milaje um to be your brides in waiting um because that's what they are concubines they're actually mm. concubines that are trained from they are different also villages soldiers in the royal guard. Oh yeah, man. oh yeah, they're they're also soldiers and the don't, royal. They're the most skilled soldiers. In, I'm not disrespecting, them, but that's what they are. That's what they are. They are. Don't from, just reduce them. You can't just put that one that one title on them like that's all uh, they are. Like I was, if you would let me finish, they are no, the best warrior women that. from mm-hmm. each little village in Wakanda. They are sent as a gift to T'Challa. 
-hmm. they are sent as a gift to him so so that maybe t'challa will pick one to be his bride that's Mm -hmm. what they are that's what they are Mm -hmm. so hold on if that's the case why was that one lady who's the the like the leader of the dormilaji okoye why was she married to the other man that was after t'challa married storm that Mm -hmm. wasn't before I mean, not not in the MCU. He was single still. I'm not talking about the MCU ever. I'm talking about in the comics. I'm, <laughs> oh, not, okay. I'm not ever talking oh, so about the MCU. So you just ignore the movies. Okay. but you just I do up. ignore okay, the movies okay. when I'm talking about the comic book. Okay. 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 In you, the you gotta, comic. You got to start making these distinctions because okay. I me always, and the viewers ain't I, know I, that. I, I'm always going to ignore the, the comic. Me I'm, and Laurente ain't know that. And no, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm always going to ignore the movies. Mm, Wait, always. So you always ignoring the movies. Yes, when, when he's talking, talking about, about the comic book, mm. I know I don't skip from to and fro. Yes, you do. That's what I, you I just never did. skip from to and fro the comic and movies. I you were to and fro that. skipper. When did I do that? Okay, come on. Exactly. Let's go. So that was after T'Challa married Storm, who was outside. But all the nations that are all the villages in Wakanda didn't mm-hmm. like that. So that has led to the. Um, the war, the civil war within Wakanda of the people rebelling from the the patriarchy. Um, It led to a lot of fights. A lot of people died. A lot of stuff happened. This was a, um, hold on, let me get his name. This was a story that was by Ta-Nehisi Coates. Ta-Nehisi Coates wrote this over a few years. The, The dis- um, disillusion, the disillusion, the disassembly, the the disassembly of the patriarchy of Wakanda, mm. because they mm. did not like how Storm came in as an outsider, married mm. and got all this power, all this power over Wakanda. So they did not like that, and they first that was the seed of rebellion that pushed them to actually um, not not um, do the patriarchy, which has ultimately led to T'Challa being exiled from his own home. And now the only people that about, are um, a part bad, of, that are in Wakanda, and I'll, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm DeMarcus, I'll get you in a minute. All people that are in mm-hmm. Wakanda now that are part of that lineage are um, uh, uh, Shuri and um, T'Challa's mom. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and, and they also episode. have no power. We're gonna have to do an episode about the child being the worst king ever. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 he is the worst king. I think he is the worst yeah. king because he, like, I love, I love the Black Panther and I love the child, but this man just like every decision he makes, I'd be like, the country is suffering, brother. Like exactly. they are at your neck. <laughs> exactly, and that happened tons of times. I'm um, during Tanahasi Coates' run where he had a choice between the state of his country and the Avengers or the state of his country and something else that was going on outside of his country. He always chose outside of his country every single time. Mm-hmm. And that is why the government rebelled against him. The people rebelled against him. And even the Dora mm-hmm. Milaje rebelled against him by um, making another sect of the um, Dora Milaje. And all of the ex Dora Milaje came back and made another sect to be... Um, to be a part of the rebellion. And also mm. all the men, all the army people who mm. wear the white panther suits, mm. they also were rebelling. So it was everybody was against um T'Challa and he came back for a little while. He went away for a little while. Sure, he got powers. Um, but ultimately now in the comic books, he is no longer a part of Wakanda. And I think that the first mm. seed of that, the first seed of that was the storm and um, T'Challa relationship. And I think Ashley tried. Oh, go ahead. I think I don't. I think that was. I th- I understand what you're saying by like uh, the tribes, the other governing powers of Wakanda were upset about this. But I think he could have got past that. I think because Storm is African, it ain't like she no complete outsider. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I don't know. You know, I'm not from Africa. I don't know how that works. And and they um, did get past it. They did get past because as I said, Storm actually came back into his life while he was in uh, Wakanda. So they did get past mm-hmm. it. They did, even though he, at this point, um, he did have reduced power because they started chipping away his power soon. They started chipping away at it. 
So yeah. at this point, uh, he started, uh, even though he was still in the castle, even though Storm was still coming in, um, yeah, it wasn't until Storm stole the Wakandan sword from the temple um, that was very oh, that's sacred just to them. right there. That's just disrespectful, Storm. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> Why did she steal it? Why did she steal it? Like, was it? So she for stole it to. Time? She stole it because the um to do some the, shit outside of Wakanda <laughs> to do some stuff outside of Wakanda. He told she she told him that he was going to bring it back, and she did. Um, but um, the Krakoan nations were at a war with um people from another dimension, from Apocalypse's dimension that he ruled um mm -hmm. before he was Apocalypse. So they had to get twelve swords from around the world and to go against um the the um the people in. Erico, I think it's called, and um, then began to fight them um, with those 12 swords. They went to this other dimension, the dimension that um, Captain Brent goes to. That's the home dimension for ev everything that all the Captain Prince go to. I can't remember what it's called, but um, they went to that dimension and they fought them. They won, of course. Uh, Storm returned the sword. But because of that, there was an um, additional mutant Wakanda hate. Um, because Wakanda then closed off the um, the uh, portals, that the gates to Krakoa, and he no longer supported the mutants, um, the mutant country of Krakoa. So, yeah. Yeah. But T'Challa is a bad king, and I, I really, I, and I personally do not think that T'Challa was good for him because sometimes T'Challa has to be a king. And he was not a king when he was with Storm. No, not when he was with Storm. He married Storm. And then that whole thing in the book. I think you said it right. Storm Storm broke that man down. Uh. Storm, Storm made that man secondary. And he's supposed to be, he's supposed so, to be no, a no, king. He's supposed to be a king. Let, let me finish what I'm saying. You get to elaborate God, your point. It. Let me elaborate mine. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Like you said, Tashal is supposed to be a king to his people. Uh, he's supposed to be number one. He's supposed to be the head honcho. He's where he's supposed to go. But he married Storm and, and let her push him. Let her push him around. That pussy let, got power. Because he, because he, like, and, and look, and she was already disrespecting this man. He said, "Hey, don't go help them folks," and she went anyway. And mm. his people were like, "Damn, you can't even control your wife. How you gonna control this country?" Mm. Storm was a powerful um, person. So maybe Storm, so maybe T'Challa couldn't uh cope with somebody that was not subservient to him like Dora Milaje. I and, think and if Storm did not get this sword, the X-Men would die. The mutants would die. So that she did not have any choice. I understand that, but that ain't T'Challa problem. Um, yeah. And uh, just, and that's when he should have been the king and been like, hey, time to throw my wife in prison because she disrespected me too much. She's trying to steal from the people of Wakanda. Um, yeah, but but to be fair, to be fair, Storm went and she said, hey, T'Challa, and she talked to him. This is like three pages in the book. She talked to him. She said, this was happening with the mutants. This was this was going on. So I'm going to need this sword. Is it OK if I could get this sword, borrow this sword? I promise to bring it back if I survive. And that's all. I just need that sword. If I survive. Yeah, because Storm could have died. And if Storm died in this other dimension, she could not be resurrected. Because mm. you can't be so, resurrected if you die in another dimension. And that's when and that's when T'Challa should have been like, we don't do that here. <laughs> right. But, should have like, been like, the those are not Wakandan problems. <laughs> yeah, all the mutants would have died. And the Earth would have been overrun. It was a whole bunch of stuff. And Wakanda would have been all right. They would have just held up like they usually do and nobody would have knew about them. I mean, they more attacked twice. Doom attacked. Like that whole Wakanda hails up. That's not only. Even, that's not only the case because no more. only because the child began involved with other other bullshit. Because if he if child if child never came king, I think we still would not know about Wakanda to this day. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. Except for Captain America and um, T'Chaka fighting in the the um, World War Two. Mm hmm. Um. But yes, I think. But uh, back to my original point, I think Storm just like, you know, she's she she's a powerful woman, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and not and not just like not just like her mutant ability, and not you know what I'm saying she she's she has a, a powerful you know what I'm saying presence, uh she she has you know a powerful personality, she's uh she's asserts herself, she's a strong black woman, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and 
I think that she is, she does not even consider the possibility that any man that she deals with could also be on her level. Because mm-hmm. I every relationship I've seen Storm in, Storm is like, oh yeah, like I really enjoy this, I like you, whatever, but like you cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, um I think that Storm recognizes that he's the queen that he's the queen of Wakanda. Well, I'm not just talking about Wakanda, Wakanda, but, mm-hmm. but but she's like, What's a king to a goddess? Yeah, basically. What's a king to, um, what's a king to <laughs> mm-hmm. a goddess? But also with but what's them, a goddess to a non-believer? <laughs> with them falling in love, <laughs> I want to talk about all of this powerful supervillains within the Marvel Universe who have fell in love with Storm and then the conflict was over. <laughs> the conflict was over. Let's let's go down the list. That has happened a lot. Dr. Doom said, okay, I'll stop trying to take over the world if you have dinner with me. And, and she had dinner <laughs> With that, hey, he was done. He was finished. I feel with like it. I feel like to, to stop a war. I feel like she, uh, Doom had a little bit more than dinner. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. I mean I, they showed it was dinner, and then Storm flew off. They showed it, and then I mean we don't know what's happened in between the panels. <laughs> oh God! But um, they always revealing some shit. <laughs> uh, who else? Dracula. When Dracula was when Dr- Dracula came and tried to make the mutants, uh human or vampire excuse me he saw storm was like Mm -hmm. hey baby (laughs) uh so uh, is that how jack legate no no he was like get uh, in the character show us how this conversation went jerry no i'm not gonna do that but uh i'll be storm you be dracula (laughs) no 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 basically he was like you know yo you cute (laughs) <laughs> you you fine and you know we could just stop this right here now because i would never disrespect you my beautiful queen <laughs> and then and then vlad turned into a bat he blew her a kiss and then flew off that was the end of that confrontation magneto mm-hmm. said hey uh yeah i like you so this whole thing that i'm about to do with the uh like they were talking on the highway. He said, this whole thing that we're about to do, we're not about to do it no more. Because yeah, you just made me uh, see, see, see the evil in my ways. And now I feel bad and uh, yeah, so bye. Hey, so yeah, these Dude. mega villains fell in love with Storm. She didn't have to summon Nan Lightning Boat. And then they just went mm. away. So that is Storm's uh, relations with everybody but everybody that sees her fall in love with her i i know that in a recent issue of x-men red she was on a date with a human on mars but she was on a date with a human and um professor x came in he just always getting in the way he's always <laughs> getting in the way he came oh, in God, and interrupted it. her date oh i'm so mad and then and then he said the most outlandish stuff like I can't stand this man, but anyways, not talk about Professor X again. Um, but um, yeah, I feel like I feel like as a human, speaking mm-hmm. from the human perspective, if I was on a date with Storm, I would be scared. I would be like, mm-hmm. like, I, or at least like extremely nervous because I'm like, yo, like she, like if I say the wrong thing, like on a regular date, might get slapped, might get a drink thrown in my face. I can handle that, but she could like strike me with some lightning if I mm-hmm. if I fuck up. Like, I don't bring flowers, and like, not only is this day over, my life is over. Yeah, just yeah. what you say? It's too much pressure, too much pressure. I can't walk around like that for the rest of my life. You gotta uh, stay on your PQ. That no, little pussy got power. I ain't doing that. I deserve to be able to relax. Um, uh, <laughs> a, di- a, a different question. A different mm-hmm. question. Do y'all think Storm can? Do you think she can? And if she can, do you think she like? Uses her weather power to make her self more moist. I think it's naturally wet. I think so, I, th- I think so too. I think so too. She just has that like, energy, like where she like, like I said, that little pussy got some power. Like she. Fit, <laughs> like, I don't think it's little. I don't think it's little. <laughs> I think I, I think big and strong down there. Moose knuckle. It's like it's 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 wet and tight. I think Jared would like it. Jerry I, think she, go I think she I think she put it on Jerry. Jerry would be like, yo, 
He like, I'm still gay, but not tonight. <laughs> but tonight. <laughs> Come on, Jardo, bring us back. Storms, bring us back. Um powers does allow her to condense moisture. So she can probably <laughs> draw the moisture from other parts and then focus it on a specific region. I think that she has done that before. So I think she so could. There ain't no way, ain't no way she's stopping wars if she's not. She got to seal the deal. That's like uh, signing a peace treaty right there. Mm-hmm. It's so like all these dinners and stuff don't mean nothing if you don't get the signature. So disgusting. But uh, the storm me, that's, these are real questions. These are these are the, these are the things that people want to know. Really, these are the questions that I the just got it on my uh, on the Instagram. Wow, okay. the listener, the live feed in Val from, the, from the live feed. Wow. <laughs> right. Yeah. In the comment section, <laughs> come on, yeah. So, anyways, as I said, Storm has had many relationships both in this universe and in other universes. Some people that she has had relationships were Eureka, who was um dealing with X, not X Men, Wolverine. She deal with Ultimate Beast in the Ultimate Conduct series, which is making a comeback. She deal with Doctor Doom, as I said, um, mm-hmm. in the Age of Apocalypse um, uh, multiverse. Uh, she was in a relationship with Quicksilver. Um, she Quicksilver. Was a, yeah, Quicksilver. I want to do so much better. <laughs> yeah. And on Earth um, 12245, she was actually in a relationship with Cyclops. As mm-hmm. um, Okay. I could leaders. always see that happening. Yeah, two leaders. Uh, as um, Wolverine, as Demarcus said, excuse me, she was in a relationship with Wolverine that lasted a while, mm-hmm. um, including uh after the schism a bit where schism event where they both went their separate ways after um Charles Xavier died, he should have stayed dead. She was with Forge, who actually took her powers back. Forge, in- yeah. Oh, yeah, she was in a long relationship with Forge. That's what that's what she get because Forge is beneath her. Why you say that? I don't like Forge, man. He was he was only first off he was only created for that nineties uh that nineties cartoon. Like he ain't even a real X Man for real. He is a real X Man. He was created before. In fact, all those X Men except for um, Morph were created long before that. Nah, cartoon. not Jubilee. Jubilee was also created just for that show. Jubilee mm-hmm. wasn't created for. Jubilee was created for the the animated the the the, the animated series in the nineties. Was it ninety five or ninety nine? I think it was ninety five, like ninety seven or something. Ninety seven. Oh. I gotta look that up because I did not know that. I mean, that's not this episode. Look it up later. Let's keep on going about Storm. We just, just... Nah, I can cut this part out because <laughs> you done said something that I need to um. I got to look up because I did not know that Jubilee <laughs> was made for the comic book. Yeah. No, and she wasn't. She was Jubilee not. was created by Chris Claremont, Claremont and Mark uh, Silvestri in Uncanny X-Men 244 in May 1989. Boy, you just lying. No, no. Nah. Anything. That's not, that's not what I've read. That's not what I've read. I've read that You've Jubilee read was definitely... Whole- yeah, I didn't think I, I knew she was created by Chris Claremont in ni- in the early nineties. I didn't know it was nineteen eighty nine because every every character in that cartoon series was originally a character in the um, comic books. Like it was a one to one. Yeah, Jubilee. Mm. No, I'm, I'm gonna do my own research and we can have yeah. episodes about. Yeah, yeah. Do, we do, own do research. When we do when we do the when we do the X Men ninety seven episode. Mm. Oh, Lord. Ooh, um, I'm hyped for that show. Side note. The uh the X-Men yeah, 90, we all are. 99? Yeah, X-Men 97. 97, yeah. That's gonna be dope. I think that we all are hyped for that uh for that you show. Know. Um, because that show was great. The shit in the past it's going to be great in the future yeah like, like do you know of any other theme that is so uh iconic <laughs> yeah iconic as the x-men theme um Mm-mm. 
Mm-mm. I'll be hard pressed to find one. I tell you yeah. that I'll be hard pressed. Yeah. Um, something that may interest you, Demarcus, is that Storm led the fight against the Inhumans. Um, this was after the Ter- Terra Genesis uh, mist was released on the world, mm-hmm. and Storm was the um, main and ta- main protagonist. Excuse me. Um, in that fight against the Inhumans, against Black Bolt, um, mm-hmm. reducing all of the Inhumans. So she was the main one that led that team. Um, another thing, she has wielded Asgardian power. She went in a, well, Loki did something. I didn't read this comment, but it was, this was in New Mutants. Um, mm-hmm. Storm um, did something with Loki, and Loki granted her the gift to be the goddess of the weather put in that, Asgardian. Uh, and put she that moisture actually, condenser on her. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and she actually uh, got a uh, a little hammer to go with her. So I guess that's another villain that Storm has made fall in love with them. And of course, she's an Omega level mutant. Um, yeah. And and her yes. Omega level has actually been debated against for years. But with Krakoa, it was solidified that she is an Omega level mutant. And then, of course, with her. Um, How would she not be Omega level? Like she they, controls the weather. <laughs> yeah, they hey. always said that she was an alpha level mutant, but they also said that Professor X was an alpha level um, but- telepath. Professor X started out as an alpha level and then developed into Omega later, right? Mm. They said that he developed into an Omega after he died. So once you die and come back, you gain greater control of your powers. Mm. So they said that he um, actually developed more powers and he actually developed a a small form of telekinesis on top of his telepathy. So, Mm. yeah. Um, that's not alpha, I mean, alpha or omega level, his telekinesis, but he does have that now. Hmm. Um, but with um, Storm's omega level mutants, Legion and Nate Gray um, actually combine into one being a la, um, uh, what's that called? When Professor X and uh, uh, Magneto combine into one being? Let me see. Fusion? What's that called? <laughs> That's called onslaught. Oh, onslaught. yeah. When they combine to form onslaught, so Legion and Nate Gray combine. As you know, Legion is an Omega it's level a, mutant. Oh, oh, oh. Nate Gray is an Omega level mutant. Storm actually took them both on and defeated this Nate Gray Legion hybrid um, with these. So yeah, that's how powerful Storm is, and. Yeah, Storm is my favorite mutant. She's a mutant that I would be if I um if I could be a mutant. I got so, a question. Yes. Does Storm have any children? No, she does not have any children. I think that's sad. I feel like she should have a, a, a lineage. No, she does not have any children in this universe. Um they've okay. shown some days in the future where she has a child so mm. in some multiverse where she has a child but how old is storm um, now i mean you know those things in comics <laughs> is weird uh i would say like 34 34 so you're saying i might have a shot is what i'm hearing oh, that's good the storm is too tall point. for you too tall and too beautiful. No, she, she don't care about that if she'll date a regular person she'll care about right <laughs> Mm, I, I've never uh, seen Storm uh, like somebody that was as short. Well, she you know, dated Wolverine, Wolverine. She don't care yeah, about height. Yeah, but Wolverine, and Forge because Forge ain't tall either. I guess Forge is her height. So um, when a nigga got more money, how tall is she? I, I Storm's like five. She like Storm at least like five ten. Yeah. She oh, she's like a model. See. She looks like a model. Um, yeah. Oh, one. Thing, I, would, I would give a I would give a six feet, but she at least five ten. One thing that people get wrong is I'm um, saying that Storm is African. Let's get into it. Um, Storm okay. is not oh. African. Her parents are African. They were pregnant and they came to America to give birth to Storm. Storm 
stayed in America. For you see my face right now. What? What you got to say? Because they can't see your face. <laughs> Bruh, because you just said Storm is not African. Her parents are African. Uh-huh. So what does that make her? Two Africans make a what? Make uh, African. African. No, no, she wasn't born in Africa. <laughs> she wasn't born in Africa. They okay, came so to America. Her to nationality to is her. American. Exactly. Her nationality she got is du- She got dual citizenship. Exactly. So four years after being in America, her parents actually said, this place is racist as F. We're going back to Africa. They went back to Africa, died in the building, and that is how Storm um, got her nationality. That's her backstory. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what well, a lot of people don't say. They say Storm is African. Not really. She was born in America. She's African-American. Yeah, she's African-American mm-hmm. fully. She's like real African-American. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And not Black American. Yeah. So, uh, Laurente, talk to me. How do you feel about Storm? Is she your favorite character? Has love... this uh, episode favorite. made you think differently about Storm? Favorite? That's that's. You want to feel that uh, that moisture condense? Oh I God, wouldn't mind now. I'm not, <laughs> not, not okay, 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 okay. But back to the back to the back to the question at hand. You know, we've always loved Storm. She's been one of the one of our favorites from. You know, the comics, cartoons, leading into the live action with Halle Berry. Um, mm. So I'm, I'm excited to see is how they, because, you know, like the, like they attain the rights from Fox for the X-Men and all the mutants and stuff like that. So I really, really want to see who they cast in the live action whenever they, you know, whenever they decide to come out. Because I know we have the strike, writer strike and the actor strike. So I know it's going to take a while. But um, yeah, Storm's always been a homie. Storm, Storm's always, always, always. She's not to me. She's never been. You know, some characters are kind of useless. Like they, they, they'll be on the team, but they don't really do shit. Storm's always been a good leader yeah. to me. So even when she was deep power, she was definitely like still leading the team and shit. Like she, yeah. And that that's something I gotta do a deep dive on because I've never heard of that one. I've never heard of her losing her or deep power. I, I haven't heard that version of her, so I definitely want to dive in and learn a little so, bit more about. It. I feel like so, she was deep powered a little bit in the in the show in the nineties, wasn't she, Jared? Um. Yeah. Yeah. She was because um she did fight Callisto. What happened, Lorante, is um, uh, for, uh, Forge was tricked into making a weapon that could uh, depower mutants um, by the government. And Forge, of course, can make anything that he sets mm-hmm. his mind to. That's his mutant mm-hmm. power. He can make anything. So with that, Mystique actually shot that weapon at Storm, and then Storm mm-hmm. became depowered. So, Damn. yeah, that's what happened. Mm, mm, uh, Storm mm. was depowered for a long time. Like, in the comic book terms, this was like a couple of years. Storm Damn, was depowered. Bro. But she was still leading the X-Men, leading the Morlocks, fighting Callisto, doing all this stuff without any type of superpowers. <clears throat> still on top. So, yeah. You ain't telling me <laughs> shit. You ain't got no powers. Uh-uh. Exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> is there anything else I might have missed? Storm was also a, uh, she has been a member of the Fantastic Four. She has been a member of the Avengers. She's been a member of the Freedom Force, the little um, all girls group led by Captain uh, Marvel. And yeah, Storm, Storm is just that person i think storm in the marvel universe everybody kind of loves her she's like beyonce where like Mm -hmm. all of the um all of the celebrities are like are like she's coming she's she's coming (laughs) and like like she's like that type of hero in the marvel universe so yeah storm is that would you uh would you want to see beyonce play storm in a that's really? my dream casting. But Beyonce can't act. Yes, yeah, she can. She's acted no, more she times can't. than you have. She has more movie credits than you do. Woo, okay. She, okay. That's she has more Oscar nominations than you do. That's, that's I shouldn't have poked the bait. I shouldn't have poked the beehive. I shouldn't have poked the beehive. For me, I love B. I love B. It's just so so don't say anything. She's if you love her, then don't so say anything. anything. <laughs> if you want to love her, don't hey, say anything. Blind in faith. Fact, blind in faith fact, or no faith. 
Like, like don't say anything. No face. No, be real, Lorante. Don't let him. Don't let him sound no, you. Speak no. your truth. Oh, I said I would. I love it. Dude. Let's go ahead speak and end this conversation right now because I feel myself getting mad. Let's take a quick break <laughs> and come. I want to know. I want to hear what Lorante got to say. No, because Lorante cut me off. You earlier. you love Lorante. Because so this is me getting my lick back. So I am now going to cut Lorante off. We're going to come right back with everybody's favorite part the questions questions All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. If you made it to this portion of the pod, it means you made it to your favorite portion question, the segment where we ask the questions from our listeners, such as yourself. If you want to ask a question, we'll be glad to answer it on the pod. You can reach us at any social media platform as well as our Gmail, Instagram, and TikTok are going to be Black Geek Energy, all one word. Twitter is going to be BGE underscore pod. And the Gmail is going to be blackgeekenergy at gmail.com. Without further ado, let's dive right on in it, fellas. All right, first question is, if you could possess the knowledge of any one professional skill instantly, what would it be? Right now, only because of what I was saying at the beginning of the episode, mm. uh, <laughs> like AI, like if I, if I was like, if I could become like an expert in artificial intelligence, like overnight, mm -hmm. I would do it. And I would use it to get my job done at work now. And then, realize, mm -hmm. and then realize that the knowledge that I now have is much more valuable and try to go somewhere else and do AI full time. Boom. But it'll be instantly. You won't even have to do it overnight. It'll be boom. Do I get to keep it like forever? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's in you. It's not only it's in you. <laughs> now you the godfather. Now you the godfather of AI. All right, Jardo, who we got? So the question is, if I could have knowledge of any subject, what would it be? Yeah, yeah, of any any profession or skill. So it can mean anything from doctors, teachers, or skills to, you know, I'll say something simple like cooking, you know, cook any dish, you know. It, so it's up to you. It's, so it's, you have the full knowledge, like no question can be unanswered in this. Right, right, right. Okay, like you're a full so yeah. encyclopedia. You're like doctor, doctor. doctor. I want to be a doctor. I what kind? Just, what kind? Um, oh, it's, it's a it's a type. I, no, I no, no. Well, I mean, I mean, there there are types. I was just asking you, would you like have a specialty like cosmetic surgery or just a general? I can see Jared being like I just want to be a surgeon. doctor and I don't want to operate on people, a surgeon. I just want to <laughs> give people the knowledge for a fee. I would charge the rich people and I would give back to the poor. Okay. But yeah, that's that's what I would do. I would, I would be the most knowledgeable doctor in the world and um and I would give back to the poor. Okay, that's good. That's good. Any knowledge of any one professional skill instantly? Um, I kind of want to go on the, on the construction side of things, like be able to build, not, you know, not me. Like, of course, I'll know how to do it and I'll hire right folks, but just the ability to build so we can build our own towns and cities. That's what I would choose. Just the knowledge of construction. I know everything about everything. And my contractors can't bullshit me because that's what happened a lot. People hire, you know, fly by night contractors. They just throw the shit up. It falls apart in three years and they back at square one. But I love the infinite knowledge of construction, construction. and development. Cool. All right. All right. Next question, guys. Let's get it. Would you rather have the ability to speak and understand all languages fluently or the power to instantly learn and master any musical instrument you touch? The languages one. Yeah, mm. the languages. Language two. Oh, language is three. So, okay. <laughs> I realize one thing I realized that a lot of people in their adulthood don't know how to play instruments. And they a lot of people wish they could. Um I having grew up 
playing the instrument and dabbled in more than one. It's 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 cool. It's cool when you got it, but at this point in my life, it's like I don't really want that. Mm -hmm. I want I want something more useful. <laughs> right. Okay. I mean, you can entertain anybody. You can pick up anything, go anywhere, and that's that's what. Oh wow, damn, he's good. And then I think it's more good. useful to be able to talk to anybody. Yeah, like anywhere you go. That's yeah. true. I I think that is it, it's cool when people just sit down at a at a piano and start playing, but. Yeah, that's cool for like five minutes and then you move on. But talking to anybody, that's a useful skill mm -hmm. that you can use at the UN or something. So, yeah. You go to France, Italy, South Africa, Egypt, Brazil. Okay. All right. So we all we all on the same accord on that one. But they say they do say music is like the, the universal mm -hmm. language. So, you know. It is, but no, but, no. I mean, yes, yes, but words, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but words. <laughs> But wow. with wow. this universal language, are you like Doug Ramsey and you can also read body language? Mm. Uh that's a good one. I think I think it's just it's just limited to the verbal, if that makes sense. Mm. I think it's just limited to the verbal. Yeah, so, so it, I would so if it makes a sound to communicate, is that do are we considering that language? Mm -mm. Cause that's all that's all verbal language is just us making sounds that we've agreed upon this sound means this thing i agree i agree so if it's if it's a if it's a language that's com, you know comprised of not civilizations but if a civilization of people do use it then yeah but if it's like so it has to be people it definitely has to be a group of people I mean, so, but no you said if it makes a sound like whales talk to each other dolphins yeah. talk to each other even like elephants, like, they do that little rumbling uh, thing where they uh, can talk uh, to each other over like yeah. miles the and question, miles. The question, the question says the ability to speak and understand all languages fluently. So if that it's is a, a all, all language. languages fluently. Yeah, that is an all language. Like how like do we know Elephantese is not a language? Yeah, dolphins give each other names. Now, dolph, I'll give you dolphins and different whales and mammals and elephants. They are they are the sm they're very smart and intelligent. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll give y'all them too. So, so, so not we, can, little, we can speak dog and, and we can speak whale and we can speak elephant, but we can't speak dog. Now and we then, do, now we got to do little. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and then you know the oh. aliens are here. So hey, man. Oh, we didn't talk about that at all. <laughs> that is crazy. Hey, yeah. Uh, we did not bring that up. And that is so crazy. Everybody's life is so so much going on right now. They was like, Yeah, aliens exist. And we're all just like, okay. So. And <laughs> yeah. Yo, we cared about this. 15 years ago. We do not care now. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe it's a bigger thing with children, but rent's and, due. Uh, so. Right. Oh. And rent was due. I just paid rent. Shoot, Come on. My... I ain't going to put my say how much I paid rent. Oh, oh, yeah. It's embarrassing. Right. My thing is, I'm 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 kind of, I'm at the point where I kind of trust the aliens a little bit more than I trust the government. I'm going to see yeah. what they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. What, what y'all got going on? What, huh? Third, yeah. third question. Third question. Okay, Wait, but I mean, going off of that, like, like the president was just indicted for the third time today on multiple charges. Well, former, the former, person former, that they're former, former, the former, former president who might mm, be the future mm, president. So mm. I'm, I need to tell him to come down here quick and just, 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 just make things shake. Just shake the table. Just, I mean, just wipe us all out. Yeah, no. We've, we've had a good run, basically. Basically, we've had a we've had a great run. Like I think humanity, so too. a plus. Mm -hmm. Like, well, you like know, you've see. done some amazing things. I mean, except the Holocaust. Um, at one point, uh, I, I said amazing. I didn't say amazingly good. Everything. I didn't yeah. say everything. Didn't say everything. Some things, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can be okay. great and terrible. It doesn't. It just yeah. being great well, doesn't mean being good. Yeah, y'all okay. straight people have really been. Great, you know. Yeah. I think that I think that gay people have always been a part of these atrocities too. Some of these wow. name one and for gay you, person, and for name you, one. and for you to minimize gay people and that they can only be heroes, that sort of limits y'all, don't you think? No, mm. I don't. No, I don't. If gay people no. can only be heroes because that is what they have always been in the past, because they have Whoa. been subjugated by heteronormality. Nor then that's what they're going to be. And if that is the <laughs> truth, then that's the truth. But white, I, I mean, think, not white people, I think straight deserve, people. I think we have advanced enough to where we deserve to see people of all kinds and shapes and sizes 
of all types, of all creeds and colors in all different kinds of roles. You know, and, and you're you're right. We have. But with gay people, we haven't yet. Like, there's never been a gay mass shooter at a school. Okay. There's never been gay what? terrorists. What? There's what? never what? been a gay Hitler. <laughs> there's never been a gay President Trump. So all of these people that have Let's not been able go. to progress Hitler. in Hitler. their oh, villainy. Oh, yo. It's been, I feel, I feel like, I feel like that there should be some research done to that. Like how many in the closet people I'm have on. like committed atrocities because they haven't was been gay. like, but they, but they haven't been like, you know what I'm saying? Why are they in the closet in the first be place? Be at peace with themselves. Why are they in the closet in the first place? No, why can't they I mean, be at peace with we, themselves? Now, then we got to go to this third question. All right, diving into <laughs> it. We got to go to this third question. Question number three. <laughs> question number three, team. If you had a chance to live in, in a completely different country for a year, which country would you choose and why? Ooh, ooh. One year, anywhere. You know, I would say Wakanda, but we just got to talk about how T'Challa be fucking that place up every, mm -hmm. every month. So mm -hmm. no, no, Wakanda's actually still good. Like the people of Wakanda are good. Wakanda has a national um limit that everybody gets to gets to have, like a national salary. Wakanda has national food that everybody gets to have. That's gourmet. Wakanda has national heat heat and in health care like wakanda still good even the poor parts of wakanda still get 50 or so thousand dollars a year just for being wakanda so yeah hey. wakanda <laughs> or 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 lots of area because dr doom is also a great ruler but what's that weather is, is yo he is better. yo he, he is <laughs> yo laveria but like Doom is a Doom is a dick, but he be he be doing good stuff. He be, he exactly. be saving people. Those people are happy. <laughs> yo, How is that weather? How is that weather? Doom be putting his foot down. Doom be like, yo, I'm not gonna stand for this shit, and I'll destroy everything if you fuck with me. But yeah. um, the people we should out do, there are happy. We should do we should do an episode on rulers mm. <laughs> because the the people who you think are good rulers, who you think would be good rulers, I think. The saying is true. I think the saying is true. Like good, good people don't make good kings. Mm. Yeah, because who else is a good person? Black, Black Adam. He's a great ruler. Black like, Adam. He, yeah. Um, the opposite of Shazam. Shazam's villain. Oh yeah, Black Adam. Okay, okay. He's a great ruler. Oh yeah, he's a great ruler. <laughs> amazing person. Like, amazing ruler. Like horrible all, person. <laughs> like, like the people of his country, like and he he accepts refugees. He accepts uh, all these refugees that these mm -hmm. other countries like like kick out of their country for being a metahuman and there's no crime. There's there's a national like like every it everybody's happy. Everybody's happy in um kick uh Kandak where he rules at. So mm -hmm. Latveria, yeah. Wakanda. Now that T'Challa's not over it, and, or Kandak. <laughs> Kandak. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, one of those. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what like, about you? Nowhere where like nowhere where a good person rules. Like, I want I want my president to like shoot folks in the head in front of me. Like yeah. he's uh, gonna be a horrible person, yeah. but he he's gonna make sure we good. <clears throat> like like where is a place that somebody rules? Atlantis that's always getting destroyed and Namor's not even Ooh. that good. Yeah, but Namor, but Namor, he's on the fence. Namor's on the fence. Yeah, Namor's on the fence. Where else? All right, let's save this conversation for the episode where we actually do it. We don't want to okay. give it all away here. So, Lorenzo, where were you staying? Switzerland? Uh, Canada? No, no, no. I'm, I'm in between we... Venice and Italy. I'm in between those. Venice is places. Italy. Oh, is it? Okay, Venice, I'm sorry. I'm sure. I, I thought he meant Venice, California. <laughs> no, no, I'm thinking, it has to be a different country. Oh, right, all right. I mean, Venice, Venice, and Sicily. I'm thinking between those two parts. Of all of those are Italy. Oh, I know yeah. there's two different parts. Two different parts. But we said country, right? Uh, did we say country? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I just do Italy, and I go, I go from. I go all over that bitch, man. Italy's just to me, you know, as a foreigner, you know how we romanticize everything. Mm -hmm. It just seems like one of those a lot of a lot of Americanized I eat a lot of Americanized versions of their food. Mm -hmm. I definitely like try some of the the authentic stuff. I mean, yeah, I definitely used to romanticize France before I went, and when I went, I was like, "Oh, this isn't great." 
everybody that, says that about France. <laughs> everybody says that the only good part about France is right around that tower. And what is that? <laughs> That's the only good part about France. Every other yeah. part of France smells. The food is bad. The people are mean. The street. People are mean. People mm-hmm. smell. So like they mean to Americans, they mean to like white Americans. Mm. So imagine if you are black American. Oh. They don't give up. <laughs> I mean, that's La Ranta in Italy. Like, like when we went there for um New Year's, like uh-huh. those white people were looking at us crazy. Like, we had to use a bathroom and they were like, You can't come in here, you pee somewhere else. And like, uh-huh. like I was with the band, they was like, No, you can't come in here. Wow. Go. Damn, in so, Roma. Yes, Dang. outside oh. of the Vatican, they were like oh. that. Yeah, we should have set that bitch out. But that's um, where you want to go. If we had to pick a real place, I might do Amsterdam because I've been there, and the people are actually nice. Amsterdam was hella dope. Good. good, good, good. And they have like coffee shops where you can just like sit up in that motherfucker and smoke weed. I would, I would choose Switzerland because Switzerland has that basic minimum wage, that free health care. You know, mm-hmm. everybody's happy. They have the highest percentage of people that are happy in Switzerland. I would just be there. I don't really go outside my house anyway, so I would just be in Switzerland. Even though, even though they do that thing where they have blackface and white people, right? Yeah, the like, whole like, holiday. Like nah. basically everywhere you go in Europe, it's gonna be like that. But they got one of those days. Yeah. Dude, they got why don't we go days. to Africa? Why don't we go to a country in Africa? Why don't we go to? I, give you that I can't go I there. You. I am I'll, a feminine gay person. I'll be shot in the street by a mob. Fair so enough. I can't go. Fair you gotta, you just gotta put the front on. You gotta go trade. That's all. Why do I have to put a front on to visit your country? That's ridiculous. You're not gonna be visiting. You're gonna be living there for a year, Jared. And I'm not gonna put. I haven't put a front on my whole entire life. Why would I do that now? Why if would I he, put why a front would he on? You need to star. kill me. I'm not on the DL. Why would he tarnish his gold? I and mean, we just talked about the atrocities that people on the DL commit. So. That's you get more bitch though, shit. When you you act like I like I like women, I like women. Then that's when that's when you get more gay niggas. I don't believe you. Let me let me let me find out, and then boom, tricked his ass. But yeah, it's like that in Uganda, in Egypt, and all those African countries. That's a countries. lot, a lot, yeah, a lot. They're like really aggressive, yeah. Even if they suspect you're gay, they'll write you up in the newspaper, and then the mom will be at your house. So boom, uh, on him. Um, that was. Uh, related to Beyonce's press managers, Beyonce's press manager just died in Africa because mm. he was gay. So, dancing, he was like dancing. Or, was that that's a no? Person. That's today, but okay. Beyonce's press manager um, uh, is gay and an activist in Africa, and he was just too loud and too proud, I guess, and he was murdered. Mm-hmm. You know, and today. You know, gay a gay person was killed in New York for voguing in the streets to Renaissance. Mm-hmm. So, no, mm-hmm. going to an African country is not for me. The same with the Middle East. The same with China. Like they have all these anti gay laws now. So it's a very limited space I can go. Switzerland would have to be it, even though they have that black anti black day. So. There's an anti-black day in Switzerland. Is I that mean, what it's, it's anti-black because they're in blackface. So, oh, okay. Well, all right, y'all. I hate to end on a sad note, but I ain't sad. I'm just not going there. Mm. Oh, are you Ooh. not going to end it? <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> I was waiting. On, I thought I was waiting on final thoughts. Oh, final thoughts. Um, more of that bitch. What you say? The storms that chick. Yo, and she and she's you know, she's very open. So you know, get in line. You never know yeah. when it's your turn. Yeah, when um Chris Claremont and Stan Lee were writing her, she always walked around everywhere naked. So oh, because they braces. Not because they they Watch they, they, black woman. they infatuated be. by that black fish. They got that jungle fever. <laughs> uh hey. yeah. So let us know, everybody, if you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> we try not to go to two hours, or this is going to be like one hour and 45 minutes. So I tried to cut my storms things short. I know that I can go on and on and on about her. But still, we are here. So let me know if you enjoyed this episode by going on to all the socials that Lorante mentioned. Then go on our, our Apple page 
and make sure that you leave a comment on our Apple um, podcast page. Um, then if you didn't like this episode, you know what? I need you to go to um, betterhelp.com slash BGE pod and talk about that and uh, <laughs> see if, you know, you got some other issues you need to work through because it's not us. It may be you. Uh, but yeah, do all of that stuff. Make sure you support us. Let us know what we can do. We got a whole list of uh, exciting new topics that we're going to go over over the next couple of months. So stay tuned for that. And um, if that's it, then I'm going to close out this episode of Black Geek Energy. All right, let's take a break to check in on our geeks. Um, how are y'all doing? How are y'all feeling? How's your heart? How's your mind? Now, y'all have asked us about mental health before and what our feelings are on mental health. And I say that your mental health is just as important as your physical health, your spiritual health, and your financial health, your fiscal health. And uh, therapy, a lot of times, is a bridge to those other things. Um, so our sponsor, BetterHelp, is here to help us with that and help you with that. And I know a lot of y'all don't believe in therapy. Y'all ain't got time for it. You know, can't nobody tell you how you feel. But that's not what BetterHelp is here to do. What BetterHelp does is that they have licensed professionals that help you understand why you're feeling the way you do and are able to walk you through um, those feelings and help you get to a better place or just to reassure you of where you already are. I'm in therapy myself, and I can tell you that it's working for me. So, you know, why not give it a try? You can go to betterhelp.com slash BGE pod. That's beta gamma epsilon pod for 10% off and get started with better health today. Yeah, yeah. So I, I ordered the mic, y'all. So it's it's on the way. It'll be here and then by the next show. Okay. And who is David? David. Um. So I got this thing I I do where I name um, and I just haven't changed. I I should have changed. I should have changed years ago. But I just be putting white people names on shit. Like, like sometimes I might put David, Thomas, Jason, on some shit. And I should have really been done changed it. But yeah, David's my my Amazon name. <laughs> cool. Because I had like hella Amazon's accounts at one point. I just Why kept reading so Because I think it was like a promotion, like free Amazon Prime. Ah, okay. But then this was like, this was like on my primary or like my, you know, that one email you've had since 20, you know, 2009, 2010. So this is that one that I know the password on for sure. Okay. Uh, let me see. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Um, We're championing. Championing, I can't say the it's word. Storm, right? Yeah, it's storm, but I, was, I can't find the word. Championing, is I saying it right? I feel like I'm not saying it right. Championing. Championing. There we go. I, I, I put a couple of ins in there. <laughs> okay, guys. In five, four, three, two.